Got an email from Chris Hardwick's publicist. Chris Hardwick is the creator of The Nerdist, LA comedian who managed to fuse tech and comedy into a unique brand, The Nerdist, and then just, you know, took off from there. What I like best about Chris Hardwick is he's a nice guy. And I haven't had the chance to have a long conversation with him but I did tell him they did a fantastic job being the host of a couple of panels at Comic-Con last year. So he's the guy who just comes off as, hey, you know, creative, hardworking, happy to be there, happy to share with you kind of person. So he's parlayed all that and more, obviously, into this festival he had in Silicon Valley. Well... Silicon Valley to people on the outside, but I think it's Mountain View to people on the inside. But, like, if you live in the Bay Area like myself, right? But I digress. Anyway, A12 Entertainment sent me this. And the reason why my face has this expression on it is because I'm thinking, why didn't they invite me to this? I would have been very happy to go if they wanted coverage or something. But I got no information except this after the fact piece but hey look it's after the fact but it's mr hardwick judging by what i've seen it was a great time and a great event so here goes the press release reads thousands and it does look like thousands folks thousands thousands like i say again thousands Thousands of music, comedy, comics, and pop culture lovers congregated for the inaugural ID10T, which actually looks like idiot, okay? That's the way the logo looks, right? Music, festival, and comic carnival. A groundbreaking, first-of-its-kind experience created and hosted by Chris Hardwick. Hmm. He just gave me an idea. Goes on the reads, a diverse group of attendees, many of whom were sporting impressive cosplay attire, roamed the Shoreline Amphitheater, Mountain View, and surrounding grounds in Mountain View, California, got it right, on Saturday, June 24th and Sunday, June 25th. Each day kicked off with panels which were overflowing with patrons. Some highlights include Mystery Science Theater 3000, playing clips from the new season of the reboot, The Magicians, discussing the upcoming season, and during the Animaniacs Live sing-along, cheers could be heard from across the venue as the original voices from the show broke into a quick live rendition of the show's theme song. Throughout the day, Fans explored comic vendors. You get the idea. It was a lot of fun, you know. And and Chris Hardwick made himself a surprise guest. Hey, even though I produced the show, bing, you didn't expect me to be here, and here I am. I'm glad he didn't pull a P. Diddy. You know, P. Diddy used to have these Super Bowl parties, right? Like, I went to one in Detroit. This was in 2006. And you go... To P. Diddy's party because you expect to see P. Diddy. So you lay down the requisite amount of cash and go in, right? Only to realize that he's not there and they say, well, he's in the VIP room, but you have to pay 600 to get in there. But then the rumor is he's not even there either. You get the idea. Thanks, Chris, for not being a P. Diddy. But I digress again. Now, uh, Chris Hardwick is quoted as saying this. Idiot Festival was out of this world, incredible experience, and I want to personally thank each and every one of you that came out and joined us this past weekend. Whether you were there for music, comedy, panels, artists, or just to get the dust off your cosplay, you helped make Idiot more than just a festival. You made it a community. I was blown away by how much joy resonated from every section of the Shoreline Grounds and can't wait to do it again next year. Not bad. And so Idiot's coned by Rob Tweedle, and it goes on. You can read all about this, and about the two-day festival in the 
text below this vlog. Congratulations to Chris Hardwick, because I've thought about doing something like that, you know, a festival that combines tech, pop culture, and music, and people that have made contributions to our culture, either large or small, who I've had the pleasure of interviewing during the time I have been involved with Zenia 62 Media as its founder and, you know, base create contributor and creator and all that jazz. So this gives me some push, you know what I mean? Some in, in, incentive, incentive, some inspiration is the word I'm looking for. Inspiration. Is there, is there a song called Inspiration? If there's not, there should be. Anyway, thanks, Chris. Hey, are you going to be at Comic-Con? Are you going to be at San Diego Comic-Con? Or is this your Comic-Con? You're like, okay, I'm tired. I'm done for the year. What Comic-Con would not be the same without Chris Hardwick? I'd like to hear from you. Stay tuned and subscribe to Zinni62.